Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your BIOS for an MSI Z790 Ace Max motherboard. All right, let's get started. So I went to my manufacturer's website and uh, my motherboard, which is the MEG Z790 Ace Max. I'm going to go to support and go to drivers and downloads. Uh, we see that the BIOS, the latest BIOS was just uploaded just a few days ago and so I do not have the latest version of the BIOS so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for I'm gonna install Z7D86VA2 and I'll show you how to update the BIOS now I'm going to download the BIOS download downloads pretty quickly so if we go to our downloads folder we see it here so I'm gonna extract that extract all in the same downloads folder extract now we have the extracted version. So again, under downloads, the zip version and the extracted, we need extracted, so I'm gonna delete this one. And then I do have a, now I gotta transfer this from the downloads to a USB drive. And here's my USB drive that I've stuck in the back of uh, my PC. I'm gonna actually format it just to be safe. And I'll choose the settings, FAT32 default. Okay, uh, so start. Okay, it's just saying that it's gonna erase all the data on the USB, that's fine. All right, format is complete. Let's close this and open it up again. Let's go to... Yeah, so there's the new USB, completely empty USB. So I'll transfer the uh, BIOS to the USB. All right, so now we're gonna start up in BIOS so we can install this. So now we're going to restart the computer, enter BIOS. And as you're restarting, press uh, make sure you hit the delete key. This is for MSI motherboards, uh, but for your motherboard, you might have something else that you need to hit. Just Google it and you'll find out the uh, key that you need to hit to enter BIOS for your motherboard. Again, mine is an MSI one, so delete key. All right, so now that we've entered the BIOS, uh, up here you see advanced mode. So right now we're in easy mode. So if I click this, we'll go into advanced mode. And under advanced mode, we'll go to M flash. And this is saying system will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Select yes. All right, so now it's gonna go into flash mode. Just give it a minute. Okay, so now we're in flash mode and we need to select the directory that has our BIOS. Okay, so now we are gonna go to our USB drive here on the left. And then we're gonna click on the 7086VA2 BIOS, click on it again and again. All right, and so it's asking, are you sure to select this file? I'm gonna say yes. And now we just let it do its thing. It's gonna update the BIOS. And don't do anything. Don't even turn off your computer. So let it go all the way through until uh, we get to the uh, bio screen again. And it does say here, don't shut down the restart system until BIOS update process is completed. Notice, mouse and keyboard would be locked during updating. Right, so the BIOS has been updated. Now it's going to restart again. We've got to wait until we're into BIOS mode before doing anything. And at that point, once we're in BIOS, we'll check the BIOS version to make sure it is correct. So it does take a little bit longer to start because it's still working on the BIOS, restarting everything in there. All right, so I started directly into Windows. However, we want to go into the BIOS just to check the version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart and click the delete button again.
Alright, so now we started in BIOS and we want to make sure that the BIOS version is correct. And so it is the EZD86IMS.820. So that's the latest version. Um, and it's the BIOS built update on uh, January 18, 2024. That's how you update the BIOS. Okay, so now we can go back to the Windows by clicking F10. So it says save configuration and exit. And it says you have not made any changes to this BIOS settings. And that's correct, so we'll say yes. Now that we updated the BIOS, we need to do one more thing. We have to go back to our menu, uh, motherboard manufacturer's uh, website and go to support. And again, we go into download drivers and downloads. So we scroll down to our BIOS that we just installed. And in here, you'll find the ME firmware version that you also need to download and install. And what that is, is essentially the Intel management engine update, and it will make our computer more secure. And how do you do that? So first, we have to download the, firm, uh, the firmware. Click download, sorry, download it. Let's take a look at it. See, it's in our downloads folder. We have to extract everything. So right click and go to extract all. There it is. And it's going to go into downloads again. So again, the downloads folder, we're seeing two folders. The zipped one we can delete and leave the uh, extracted folder. And it's pretty simple. You just have to double open this and then double click on the MSI ME power tool and it's going to ask you do you want to it needs to make changes and you just click next and install it all right and after you install it it's going to ask you to restart your computer and that will be it all right guys so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah until next time